Alright, today we're going to be looking at some advanced tips and tricks for using your Steam Controller to its maximum uh, proficiency. And we're going to look over activators, action sets, and uh, Steam calls them templates. From a program background I call them skeletons. Uh, but as you can see I have a completely blank template. I like to use this when I'm trying to figure out what kind of config I need for a game without trying to rely on pre-existing tropes or button placements. Uh, it's completely empty, allows me to have any any placement I want. But, specifically what I want to look at today is making your own templates for future projects so that you can have a set of controls that kind of stay the same throughout a genre. You'll notice that we have very similar control styles throughout uh, FPS, action, RPG on consoles. You'll pretty much always find the, the same button does the same thing. And it creates a familiarity that I don't think the Steam Controller has. And I think it's important to put that into your configs. So we'll start with what well, I have a basic first person shooter template. And looks like Steam is glitching out again. If you ever see this, just go ahead and make a new action set. It'll show the original and then you can just delete the one you made. Alright, so what I have here, I have fire and aim down sights on soft full pull, jump crouch, soft full pull, movement, sprint, mouse look, mouse gyro, escape, and reload. That's every shooter I play, I always have those in the same position. It allows me to have a familiarity when I play first person shooters to have a feeling for where my buttons are going to be instead of trying to figure out new places for every single game. It allows me to have one less mental step to go through when I start a new game. But I like to take this one step further because this only works for one genre. But what if we could create a template for any genre, not necessarily for gaming ideas, but maybe for utility management. I've seen a lot of people get upset that the Steam controller doesn't have media controls or can't control the volume of your system and other sorts of uh, abilities and that th that aren't game related but they would still like to be able to control in game so I began working on a config for this and it is a blank skeleton with utility commands and how it works is you can put this anywhere you want I found that double click start seems to be a really good place for it uh, you can't do hold start at the moment the hold activator only does on release not on press for changing action sets if you have it for a binding it'll activate on press just fine it will not switch to an activator though. I'm hoping Steam fixes that in a future update, but for the for now, if you're going to put it on well, if you're going to do this, you're going to have to do it on double press. And when you press it once, you press it the second time, you can hold it the second time and when you and then it'll switch to the second action set. And from here, and then from here I have it on release. That was weird. Should definitely be released. All right. So what this does is when I double press and hold the second time, it switches to this list of utility commands. When I release, it goes back to my gameplay. What I have set up for utility is I have all of my GeForce Experience share here, so I can take screenshots, instant replays, uh, record, and toggle an, an FPS counter. Here I can actually swap my audio output. I have an external app called Sound Switch that allows me to switch between outputs. That's what this does, as well as all of my media controls. I have all my volume on my scroll wheel, and I can open up GeForce Experience Share Overlay if I needed to do something that wasn't selectable from the face buttons that I had programmed. You can put anything you want here that you would want to control outside of the game. If you had specific commands for Winamp or VLC or you want to put Discord stuff in here, whatever you need to do outside of a game, this is the perfect way to do it. And by creating this as a skeleton, as a template, 
I can create any game with this built into it automatically and whatever game I play I will always have these options available for me and let me just start up a game so when I double press start you can see utility comes up you can't see I'm toggling the FPS right now you can't see that uh, I can bring up my over I don't know if you can see my overlay either I can mute bring the volume down bring the volume up uh, I don't have VLC running so I can't change the uh, the music in the background but I mean and then it's easy it gives you access to a lot of stuff that j that people have asking for and it doesn't interrupt the game at all so that's definitely a uh, a really interesting thing to do it it covers what's what people ask for it's not intrusive seriously i i don't see why anybody wouldn't do something like this it takes a little bit of work to set up to make sure everything is in the right place to make sure you've got everything ready to go but after you've done that you'll never need to do it again the only problem is that if you update if, if you find something new that you need to do and you update the skeleton it won't update all your games uh, I really hope one day sprint allows us to s switch to a template or to apply a template to an action set so that we can just update the utility template and uh, and then use that to update the uh, action sets on the fly but until then it's, it's an on-game basis so fortunately it's one of those things you don't need to uh, modify or tweak too often uh, once you get everything set up it's it's mostly volume maybe screen capture media it's not not really things you're going to need to add to con consecutively over the course of a long time. So, all right. I hope that helps. I hope some people found or uh, learned something new today. They can apply it and uh, make sure you subscribe. I'll be I'll be making more of these videos in the future. Uh, I plan on doing one for mimicking the contextual actions in console games so that you can use one button like in a lot of shooters. X is reload, but it's also use. I'll. I'll plan on making stuff like that in the future uh, anything to just kind of pass on some tips and tricks I've learned myself I've learned from others and let let everybody enjoy their steam controller to the same amount that I do all right hope you enjoyed the video see you next time